few more, a few fights left. Obviously, for them, they're looking at obviously he's a wounded animal. Maybe we can get him out of there, and this is a great opportunity to fight the likes of Dillian. I probably think Dillian bounces back better every time after the defeat, so it's probably the wrong time. But hey, guess what? It's all good for him to make a statement coming back, and um, he'll be able to jump back into the world title honors in the mix straight away because the world's got the WBA regular world title. And to any average fan, if you don't, you don't know, some might just think it's, it's just understand it's just a normal world title. So irrespective of regular or just normal, some people just it's just, just a world title. So you put them straight in the mix, straight, in, straight into the winner of Usyk and AJ and so on. So it is the right probably fight to kind of make. It's all got to make sense in terms of the numbers, and he's talking to many different people. So uh, as um, Eddie was saying, and obviously they put out there. So hopefully something can get done. We'll hear something soon. And, you know, it'll be, uh, it'll be a good time for Dylan to come back home. Um, he's back in the gym training, he's he's focused again and everything. He's, he's in a good place. So in the next couple of months or weeks, we should hear something rather if it's going to come in the September, October. So let's see how that turns out. Any interest at Those are the words of Big Dean White as he uh, predicts that people look at Dillian White now like a wounded animal. Let's get him. He has... <clears throat> A wound, he's slowing down. Let's track him down and let's kill him. Let me counterpunch. Um, I think people look for, especially uh, if you look at Dillian White over the last two years, okay? we look, If we go back two years from this date, we see him coming in uh, with one loss, fighting Alexander Povetkin. You know, in Eddie Hearn's backyard, the last week of, uh, I think it was fight camp. And we seen him get knocked out cold. Okay, we seen him get knocked out cold and, you know, everybody was like, whoa, what was that? And the next year, which is 2001, he comes back. He fights, he fights Povetkin again, but Povetkin has covid and Povetkin just didn't look the same. He didn't look like the fighter. Definitely not the fighter he fought when uh, he defeated him. But Dillian was putting a whooping on Povetkin. So you got to bring that to the forefront. You can't forget that Dillian White was whooping that ass. He already gotten two knockdowns by the time he was KO'd completely by Alexander Povetkin. So it's safe to say, well, I would have beat him anyway. But then again, we didn't even see Povetkin put up much of a fight. You know, he put up like an Oliver McCall type of fight like he did with Lennox Lewis. That was the type of Povetkin I saw. Very unimpressive, you know, and I think he was the wounded person if we were talking about somebody wounded. But Dillian White, I don't think he's a wounded animal. You know, uh, I don't think it's a dangerous time to fight him either. I think what happens with Dillian White, Dillian White has always had a soft spot. He's not a wounded animal. He's just a person that has a weakness, okay? Uppercuts. Uppercuts to the right amount of pressure will take him out. We'll either drop him or knock him out cold. Ask Joshua, ask Povetkin, ask uh, 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 Rivas. Ask a lot of fighters. Ask Tyson Fury recently. Okay, so that would be a fight that, you know, Daniel Dubois would fancy. Why? Because it's Dillian White. He fought for the WBC title. He was the WBC interim title champion forever before getting the opportunity to fight for the title, needless to say. You know, but yeah, it would make sense for Dubois to call out Dillian White, but would it make sense for Dillian White to fight Dubois? Probably not. You know, uh, the only thing that I see he could offer is that WBA, you know what I mean? And they could have a pretty good fight there. I think Dillian White is now 34 years of age. And he says he's not retiring. So if he's not retiring, I would go for a name like Daniel Dubois. So at least if I beat Dubois, I can share it with Joe Joyce. And Joe Joyce is another threat. And he'll be taking on Joseph Parker. So that puts him right back into the loop. Also, it makes him also a champion. So he's a WBC interim. If he beats Dubois, he becomes the WBA regular. So he's back in action. He's back where he needs to be. But again, people thinking that He's like a wounded animal. Um, I just think that they're 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 trying to focus on a, a time frame to exploit someone's vulnerabilities, but I, but that's not exploiting his vulnerabilities. 
See, the thing is, you better hit Dillian White with the right type of uppercut because you know what counters an uppercut, a left hook who has a very good left hook, Dillian the body snatcher White. And if he catches you, he can lay you spark out. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Big Dean White stating that these fighters now think that Dillian White, his brother, is like a wounded animal. Please subscribe and you guys can counterpunch. Peace.